This is E2070, Spring 2014, Week 5, Lecture 1. Today we're going to do multi-sim simulation of circuits with capacitors and inductors. And basically, the multi-sim simulation is very simple in the sense, uh, one way to do it, the, the standard way to do it is to go to analysis and perform a transient analysis. Or let's say you have multiple switches in the circuit, you can also use the switch model and multi-sim. We'll do both, right? So let's start with a simple transient analysis of our... Uh, RC circuit, All right? So let's go to source uh, signal voltage sources. Let's do a step voltage. Okay. Let's put a resistor. And the capacitor is okay, standard 1k, 1 micro. So the time constant is 1 millisecond. So you, again, like I keep say, emphasizing, you should have an idea of what your circuit is going to what your circuit waveforms are going to look like before you start simulation. You shouldn't blindly simulate. Very dangerous. Uh, in the sense, you, if you have no idea how to interpret the results, well, there's no point in doing the simulation, right? So in this case, we have a time constant of one millisecond. So we want to simulate for five mil at least, with five time constants, so we can see the entire response using the rule of thumb that we need steady state in five time constants. We will simulate for eight milliseconds. Let's label. The, actually, let's add the ground first, and then label the nodes. Let's go to sources, power sources, ground. We see. Then we in. Okay. Uh, let's see. The step voltage is configured zero volts, five volts. Step time is one millisecond. Okay, let's leave it at one mil. We could make this a uh, closer to, I mean, we could make this like one nano, make this like 10 pico. Uh, so it's, you have a step at zero, but let's leave it at one mil. Right. And then let's see, let's put initial conditions on this cap uh, as minus three. Okay. And let's go to simulate analysis, transient analysis. Again, I don't recommend you do this interactive simulation in my opinion, nonsense. You just just do it the correct the correct way, right? So initial conditions user defined is good. Uh, eight mil is pretty. But by default, it's one mil. I was mucking around with the simulation before recording the lecture, so it's already at eight mil, right? Output. Let's look at V in. Let's look at V C. Let's hit simulate, and you can see that. Interestingly, so let's see what happens. So you are at uh, negative three volts, okay? Then we hit zero. So the cap, oops, uh, well, there's no instantaneous jump at zero, okay? So there's, it should be minus three for a very long time, all right? Then we started going towards zero, and then we hit the step of one. So we have this kink. So in order to, let's clear all pages, right? So let's leave the third page in. In order to actually have a step at zero, so let's do that. It's good we actually did this, so we can actually interpret what's going on. Uh, so let's see. Let's close this. Let's configure this. Let's make this. Come on. Let's make this one nanosecond. Let's make this ten picoseconds. Right now, if you simulate this. Simulate there, right? So you're going from minus three, a nice exponential rise towards five volts, okay, compared to this. And make sure you understand why you had going to zero and then you had another um, kink, right? So, well, another exponential. Okay. I'm tired, it's late here. Okay, so now let's do the switch method. And multi-sim has some nice switch models. If you go to basic, uh, come on. Uh, if you go to switch, you can have voltage controlled single pole, single throw switches. Okay. So or single pole, double throw, whatever you want, right? Or double pole, double throw. Oops. Yeah. So I'm just going to do voltage control, single pole, single throw. So let's look at an example where we have, well, we kind of did this in lecture, right? So I believe. 
make this one K. Let's make this one micro. Let's leave it at three volts. Negative three volts, I'm sorry, is the initial condition. So and then the switches we can turn on them on them, turn them on and off using this step over functions. And because it is voltage controlled place component and these and this kind of circuit is the switch is useful when you have like multiple switches all right or you can, again there are many ways to do this all right you can also have multiple voltages that have different step times step multiple step voltages then da, 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 da. let's see what are we basic sources DC power On there, all right. So, there's also one nanosecond zero to five. Let's see how the switch is configured, right? So, the switch is it's an on if the input is five volts, off if the input is zero volts. That's good. So, initially, it's off, then it closes. On resistance is 10 mil, that's perfect. Off resistance is one meg, that's also perfect, right? This orders of magnitude smaller and larger than these two resistances. So, let's see what we should happen, what should happen before we do the simulation. So initially switch is open, so then the switch closes. So the capacitor is basically going to charge. It's going to go. It's initially at minus three. So once the switch closes, after a very long time, it's going to go to six volts. So that's what should happen. So let's look at the voltage across the capacitor. Come on, DC two. Okay. And in this case, the time constant is half a millisecond. Because from the perspective of the uh, capacitor, once the switch closes, the two resistors, uh, they come in parallel, all right? So let's simulate for five times that, which will be 2.5 mil, okay? Simulate analysis, transient analysis. Okay, so this is going to be 0 to 5, okay, 2.5 mil. Let's do an output. I'm not going to look at all these, but I am going to look at DC2. Right? Let's hit simulate, and we can see in 2.5 milliseconds we do reach six volts. Okay, starting at minus three. Okay, so that's about it. Again, uh, you should when you you can muck around with this graph view, so invert color, so you don't have a black background, black uh, black background. You don't want to print on a black background, you'll waste a lot of ink, obviously. So you can look at cursors, move it around, right? You can activate grid, etc. So for a multi -sim simulation, this lecture video is very short, it's only 10 minutes long, very easy. Okay. And I'll see you next time.